If you like my voice, please give a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you often start in the fun. The Crow and the Peacock Once upon a time, in a colorful and lively forest, there lived two birds, a crow named Charlie and a peacock named Percy. Charlie had glossy black feathers, while Percy had feathers of many dazzling colors that sparkled in the sunlight. Charlie the crow admires Percy's beautiful feathers and wished he could have such vibrant colors too. He often looked at the Percy's displays with a mixture of wonder and sadness, longing to be just as pretty. Percy the peacock loved to show off his stunning tail feathers. He would strut around the forest, spreading his feathers like a fan. And all the animals would gather to admire his beauty. Percy enjoyed their attention and felt proud of his appearance. One sunny day, Charlie mustered up the courage to talk to Percy. He told Percy how much he envied his colorful feathers and wished he could be as handsome. Percy listened and smiled kindly, but he also sensed that something was bothering Charlie. Percy and Charlie's conversation caught the attention of Olivia, a wise old owl who lived in a nearby tree. Olivia had seen many things in her long life and decided to share her wisdom with the two birds. Olivia explained to Charlie and Percy that each bird had something special that made them unique. She told them the beauty was not the only thing that mattered. Wisdom, kindness and other qualities were just as important. As Charlie and Percy spent more time together, they learned about each other's lives. Percy realized that the Charlie had a wonderful singing voice that cheered up the forest. And Charlie saw how Percy's kindness made him a true friend to everyone. One day, as Percy displayed his feathers near the pond, he saw Charlie approaching with a smile. Charlie sang a beautiful song, and Percy was amazed by the sweet melody. Percy then spread his feathers and danced, and Charlie was in awe of the vibrant colors. As time passed. Percy and Charlie learned to appreciate their own strengths and each other's qualities. They were no longer jealous or sad about their differences. Instead, they celebrated them. The moral of the story is that Charlie and Percy friendship taught them that true friendship comes from being content with who you are. They realized that comparing themselves to others only brought unhappiness, but embracing their own uniqueness made them both shine in their own ways. And so, the forest learned that being happy with themselves and valuing their own qualities was the key to finding joy. Charlie and Percy's story was passed down through generation as a reminder that everyone is special in their own ways. And that's what makes the world a wonderful place to live. The Hungry Fox In a vibrant forest live a curious and hungry fox named Felix. One sunny day, Felix was exploring near the hatch of the forest when he spotted a lush vine covered with ripe juicy grapes. Felix's mouth watered as he looked at the plump purple grapes hanging high on the vine. He could not resist the temptation and decided to have some. He jumped and jumped, but the grapes were just out of reach. Felix grew frustrated as he continued to leave for the grapes, but they remained elusive, panting and tired. He took a break, but his desire for the grapes only grew stronger. As Felix rested, he began to make excuses. He said to himself, maybe the grapes are sour. I don't need them anyway. He tried to convince himself that he did not want the grapes after all. Just as Felix was about to give up, a wise owl named Olivia happened to fly by. She saw Felix struggle and understood what was happening. She landed on a nearby branch and asked, Why are you so determined to get those grapes? Felix sighed and said, oh, I am hungry and 
दोज ग्रेप लुक सो डिलीशियस बट नो मैटर हाउ हार्ड आई ट्राई आई कैन नॉट रीच दैम ओलिविया स्माइल एंड सैड Grapes may be out of reach, but that does not mean they are not worth having. Instead of making excuses, why not appreciate what you have and find other ways to satisfy your hunger? Felix looked at the grapes one last time. Then turn away. He realized that Olivia was right. He should focus on the good thing he already had instead of longing for something he could not reach. As Felix returned to the forest. He saw a rabbit nibbling on some sweet berries. Felix joined the rabbit and enjoyed the berries. He felt content and grateful for the delicious treat. Felix learned that sometimes things we desire may be out of reach, but that does not mean we should be little them. Making excuses won't change the situation. Instead, it's better to be content with what we have and appreciate the simple pleasures of life. From that day on, Felix stopped making excuses and started focusing on the positive aspects of his life. He learned that contentment leads to happiness and that true satisfaction comes from appreciating the blessings around us. And so, Felix the fox became known not just for his curiosity but also for his wisdom. Three little pigs. Three little pigs decided to build their own houses. The first pig is lazy and built with straw. The second pig chooses sticks and the third pig works hard to build a brick house. Hungry and cunning wolf comes across the house of the first two pigs. He blows down the straw house easily and stick house too, but the pigs manage to escape. The two pigs runs to the brick house of the third pig, seeking safety from the wolf. The wolf fails to blow down the brick house. Despite his efforts, he tries to trick the pigs into coming out. The pigs outsmart the wolf by putting boiling water in the fireplace. The wolf falls into it and runs away in pain. The three pigs realize the value of hard work, preparation, and making wise choices. They understand that shortcut can lead to trouble. With the wolf defeated and their lessons learned. The three pigs live happily and safely in the study brick house. The moral of the story is that hard work and preparation leads to success. The frog and the snake. In a serene pond surrounded by lush greenery, lived a friendly frog named Freddy. One sunny morning, while basking by the water's edge, he noticed a sleek snake named Sammy slithering nearby. Curiosity picked, Freddy greeted Sammy. Despite their differences, Freddy and Sammy struck up an unexpected conversation. They realized they both enjoyed exploring nature and shared story about their adventures. Over time, their conversation turned into a strong friendship. One day, Sammy approached Freddy with a request. Sammy Bally was rambling, and he asked Freddy if he could catch a juicy fly for him to eat. Freddy, being a kind and helpful frog, agreed to help without hesitation. Freddy hopped around the pond. Searching for the tastiest fly, but as he returned with a plump fly in hand, he noticed something unsettling. Sammy had slithered too close to a bird nest, ready to add the axe inside. Shocked and disappointed, Freddy confronted Sammy. 
Freddy scolded Sammy for breaking his trust and endangering the innocent boy dogs. Sammy, realizing his mistake, felt wrongful and withdrew from the bird's nest. Freddy explained that true friendship is built on trust and doing what's right. Sammy sincerely apologized to Freddy for his thoughtless actions. He expressed his desire to change and be a better friend. Freddy forgave Sammy and they agreed to help each other make positive choices. The moral of the story is that two friendship is built on trust, understanding and doing what's right. Our actions have consequences and it's important to make choices that benefit everyone. This story teaches children about the value of friendship, trust and the importance of making ethical decisions. Lilo and the Magic Paintbrush The small town of Colorville, a place where everything is in black and white. In the town of Colorville, everything was black and white. But young girl Leela always dreamt of a world filled with colors. Leela sits in her room sketching a rainbow. How wonderful it would be if Colorville had colors like this. Suddenly, a feather floats down from the window and transforms into a magic paintbrush. Leela's begin painting colorful murals around town. Vibrant trees, colorful paintings and bright flowers. Look, colors, how beautiful. The children join in, laughing and painting with Leela. Mr. Grizzle notices the transformation. What is this chaos? Color will must remain black and white. He tries washing away the colors, but the magic paintbrush protects them. The rainbow raven descends, spreading more colors across the town. Rainbow raven said, Leela, this color comes from the heart. They represent joy, creativity and love. Leela said, but Mr. Grayscale does not like them. Rainbow Raven said, Not everyone will understand change at first, but sometimes it's the beauty within change that brings communities together. As day pass, color filly starts to flourish. Flowers bloom, attracting butterflies. The town is livelier. One day, a child offers Mr. Grayscale a painted flower. Mr. Grayscale is taken aback. He realizes the beauty of the colors and how happy it has made everyone. Town gathers for a mural painting event. Mr. Grayscale and Leela paint a large rainbow in the center of the town. Mr. Grayscale smiling and sad. Thank you Leela for showing us the colors of joy. And so, Color Philly became the most vibrant town. Teaching everyone that change when embraced with an open heart can lead to beautiful transformations. The moral of the story is that change can be beautiful when we open our hearts and embrace it.